I'm Dr. Matthew Shulman, board certified plastic surgeon. People ask me all the time, how do you become a doctor? And those people are often young people, people who are in high school or even starting college, and they're just not sure what you have to do to become a doctor. So I wanted to prepare this video for the young people, but also for people who are just curious about what it takes to become a doctor. So let's go back to the beginning. At some point, you decide you want to be a doctor. What I always tell people is, obviously through high school, just study hard because it, you really have to be a good student because you have to understand that going forward, things get really competitive, especially if you're looking to become the type of doctor where things are really competitive, such as a plastic surgeon. So you want to be a good student, but you also want to be a well-rounded person. So starting in high school, you want to be active with extracurricular activities. That might be sports, it might be volunteering in your community, it might be working with some local organizations to get you exposure to medicine. You know, when I was in high school, I did a program called Medical Explorers, so it kind of gave me exposure to the medical field. Um, I know people that were volunteer EMTs who spent some time in the firehouse, volunteered in the emergency room. So there's a lot of options for you as a high school student to just become involved and become exposed to the field because all that is going to help you at some point. Then you have to go to college. So college in the United States is four years. During that time, that's when you really have to decide if becoming a doctor is something you want to do because the courses you take in college will be geared towards getting you into and preparing you for medical school, which comes after college. So during college, you will be on what we call a pre-medical tract. That way, you are taking courses that are required for medical school. Physics, chemistry, biology, things like that, things that may not be that exciting, but things that you're required to do. During college, uh, towards the end, you're gonna take something called the MCAT. This is the medical college admission test. This is a competitive test and it will test you on those things I just talked about. Chemistry, biology, physics, there's English um, and some writing comprehension in that test. And you're gonna get a score. That score is gonna be very critical to helping you get into medical school, just like the SATs are critical to you getting into a good college. So during college, you have to be prepared for that. So once you start applying to medical schools, again, the same principles of being a good person, a good student, a well-rounded individual, all those still apply, probably even more so. So during college, not only should you be studying hard and making sure you do good on your MCATs, but again, be involved with extracurricular activities. Volunteer at your local hospital. Um, ask to shadow some doctors. You know, most doctors will allow you to come in and spend a day with them just to give you exposure. I do that all the time. Students, you know, call me up and they want to come in and see what I do for the day. And I'm happy to do it because I think it's a way to pay it forward and help mold the next generation of doctors. Once you get into medical school, then you take you take the specified courses again you're going to go through all aspects of medicine the first two years of medicine of uh, two years of medical school tends to be more sit in a classroom and study it's the third and fourth year of medical school which is more clinical where you're out in the clinics and out in the hospitals so um, medical school in total is four years about the time of starting your fourth year of medical school the final year you need to really decide what type of doctor you need to be up until this point, it doesn't matter. And I tell people, don't worry about what type of doctor you think you want to be because you're going to be exposed to everything and what you thought you liked, you may not like. So it's great if you're in high school and you say, oh, I want to be a heart surgeon. Okay, great. But maybe when you're exposed to heart surgery, you'll realize it's not for you and you may want to be a cardiologist or you may want to be a brain surgeon or be a plastic surgeon. So don't stress out about what type of doctor you want to be. You should only focus on the fact that you want to be a doctor. It's not until the beginning of your, your fourth and final year of medical school that you really have to figure it out. Because at that point, you have to apply for something called a residency. And that's where you get trained in the specialty that you choose. So if you want to be a cardiologist, you're going to have to do an internal medicine and a cardiology residency. If you want to do a pla you know, you want to be a plastic surgeon, you have to do a plastic surgery residency. The length of the residencies will vary depending on the specialty. 
Some residencies are as short as three years. Something like plastic surgery can be up to eight years of residency. So if you're a young person out there watching me and you think you want to be a doctor, start getting involved in the medical field with volunteer work and extracurricular activities. Become a good student, keep being a good person, and don't stress out about what type of doctor. You just gotta go through the steps. So remember, it's high school, college, medical school, residency. So I hope that clears things up. If you're interested specifically in how you become a board certified plastic surgeon, I did another video on that, so make sure to check that out. But hopefully this gives you the information that you need. And uh, good luck to everybody out there. If you wanna become a doctor, it's a long road, but it's definitely worthwhile and I recommend it. And you know, keep studying hard and being a good person, you'll, you'll be one too.